like water just get you motivated. I don't know. Yeah, I had to bring my soft box in the kitchen to get some light. So that's why that's why you see or the glare in my um, glasses because I had to bring the soft box in here because it's not enough light in my kitchen to um, do this. So. <laughs> I'm just trying to figure out how to vlog with this camera still the m50 the canon eos m50 so i was trying to um i had it on manual settings when i do sit downs but i've learned that if you're gonna vlog with it you need to put it on auto and then so it'll switch like the scenes and the lighting for you automatically so you won't have to do it so yeah so um now i can turn off my soft box and put my soft box up because my camera is going to kind of like help me out so maybe we'll do something else i don't know So my sister-in-law, my brother from Houston, uh, sent me this cleaner from Houston. You probably can't see it, but they put a note on it and it said, if it kills HIV, it should kill anything. Love you. So thank you guys for this. <laughs> show you how we clean our refrigerator with stainless steel cleaner if I can find. so we use two different kinds but this is the one that I'm gonna use today I'm just gonna do this with paper towel so if you follow in my directions do your own thing smell good so that's why I'm using this okay so it's still like let me see 11 15 in the morning and so you know I don't put on makeup if I'm not going anywhere so that's kind of why I look kind of ratchet right now 
Uh, Y'all, I meant to tell you guys that um, like a month and a half ago, my daughter had got a symptom of the COVID-19 virus, which was she lost her sense of smell. And so we took her, um, what, a couple of days ago to get tested to see if she had it. Now, when she lost her sense of smell, they did not test her. They said she didn't have any symptoms of cough or fever so they would not give her a test so she never got tested in the beginning and she was staying with a family member so you know i have a 15 month old so we thought it was safe if she just stayed over there and do her 14 day quarantine and actually she did more than that i think she stayed over there like maybe three or four weeks and so she finally came home last week and we decided i to go get her tested just to be on the safe side so that's what we did went and took her to get tested and they called me today and said that her test results came back so i am so 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 happy we're so excited she's excited she doesn't have a have to wear a mask around us anymore and so she can help me kind of take care of the baby so she's actually watching the baby i don't know if you can see her in there Anyways, she's watching the baby while I do this or whatever. So uh, I just wanted to kind of vlog a little today. This is my first time just really vlogging. And so we did some cleaning today. I'm really motivated today because of negative results. So um, yeah, I'm just excited. So um, I wanted to do something for her today, like buy her favorite food or whatever and we might still do that i don't know uh, my husband is working in his office today because he works from home so um i'm sitting in front of a window so it's like a lot of light coming in or whatever uh like a lot of light uh anyway so yeah so uh i was gonna do something for her today and then um the fraud protection people called me last night and said someone was trying to use my card somewhere online to buy some kind of adult entertainment stuff in another state and i'm like of course it wasn't me like how did someone get my card number i really don't know i do purchase a lot online so that could be how it's making me be more cautious of what i buy and so yeah uh they deactivated my card so i called my bank today to see if they can just mail me one thinking that just because they're like 40 minutes away i'll get it in like two to three days and they said it would take up to 10 days well i'll be back in the city in like three days for work so i may as well wait to then so this whole weekend i can't make any amazon purchases <laughs> My husband say, well, I'll spot you if you need something. I'm like, you don't want to buy. I don't even want you to know what I'm buying. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, but we're excited about the uh, negative results. And um, my mom is still in the hospital fighting the virus. She is actually getting a little better. Um, they only put her on the ventilator at night. She is done with dialysis. Her kidney function is doing better. She's trying to talk doesn't have a voice but she can mouth so we have to like read her uh lips to figure out what she's saying we did get a chance to facetime her on mother's day so uh that's a plus um she's still very weak but she has a long way to go and so we're just waiting on her to get better so yeah i don't have any card a debit card to like have fun with right now and today is payday <laughs> so it's, it may be god because I um, told myself I wasn't going to buy anything uh, for the next month. And I went two weeks without purchasing anything online. I did get Nolan, my my son Nolan some uh, little sandals and some more shorts from the children's place. So if you want me to do a haul on that, then let me know because I love doing hauls. Um, but guys, I figured I'd just go ahead and show y'all my children's place haul that I got while I'm on this vlog. And y'all know Nolan is just having some applesauce. He had oatmeal this morning and it's still pretty early. It's not even 12 o'clock yet. So I'm about to have me some lunch, but he's having applesauce. And he just threw it on the floor. Okay. So, but yeah, I got him these little sandals um, from the children's place because I wanted him, he loves to be outside like a lot. And so we wanted him to have something cool on his feet. But also, we did buy him two pairs of tennis uh, from Kibbits. So, yeah. And so we got him these camouflage shorts. 
wanted to wanted to make sure he had plenty of uh, shorts to wear because like I said he likes to be outside a lot and I did get him shorts in the first haul that I did but I wanted to get him some more and he did not have any cute really blue jean shorts so we got him these and um, I'm thinking after this I'm gonna go ahead and go up to the next size because this is 12 to 18 months and like they fit him so I think I think we may next month if we buy anything next month or in the next couple months we'll go ahead and go up to maybe 18 to 24 I don't know so but yeah we want him to have some little play shorts like gym shorts so that's what these are yeah and just some little fun little um, comfortable shorts that he can put on when he's outside playing and he has two pair of those and they're both um, 12 to 18 months so yeah and these all came from the children's place that's all we got we just got him three four pair of shorts um, to wear because he's outside a lot he already has shirts to wear with these and then we got him these and then um, he has some tennis from another yeah. store so yeah, what do you want to say? Yeah. Yeah. He throws everything down. So I just wanted to go ahead and show y'all that haul while we um, were vlogging today. So I'm excited about my vlog, my first vlog. You know, I know the lighting might not be perfect or whatever, but I have to work at this like i have to get better i have to go and watch this and see myself and see what i'm doing or whatever but yeah so i'm about to finish i'm about to do have some lunch and then i'm going to finish um editing a video and then i'm going to have some lunch and then we may put the baby down for a nap we don't know how this is gonna go but yeah